I work here in LA Unified School District at Santee High School, and I'm also the Vice President of the El Rancho Unified School District. We recently did something historic in El Rancho Unified. Um, we implemented ethnic studies as a graduation requirement for our students. And we did that because we wanted to make sure that we would prepare our students for the 21st century, a multicultural society where they learn not just about themselves, but the cultures of others. So we're currently in development of curriculum and courses ranging from African American literature um, to um, Chicano studies um, to Asian American lit. Um, and po possibly also um, some theater classes of, that's focusing on cultural diversity as well. Um, so we're currently in looking at doing that. I come here to speak to you as an employee, as a, as a, as a teacher, as a social, as a a social justice educator, and as a fellow colleague and a board member that says this is something that we should look at here for LA Unified as well. By making it a high school requirement, we're telling, we're telling our children, we're telling our community that ethnic studies, that people's diverse experiences are important. I work in South Central Los Angeles where far too many of our students get lost. Why? Because they cannot connect to the curriculum, they cannot connect to our schools. Oftentimes they feel unseen, they feel marginalized. Um, they don't see their own history, their own learning, their own culture expressed in the curriculum themselves. Now, we've made some strides and LA Unified has actually passed a number of resolutions in support of ethnic studies, in support of diversity, in support of, of, of multicultural and even multilingual education. However, we haven't done enough. Um, Mr. M Dr. McKenna, sorry, Dr. McKenna um, said it earlier, we pass these resolutions sometimes but where do they go? Do we actually see them working? Sometimes we have to set forth priorities, I understand that, but how many more young Latino men, young black men, are not gonna graduate from college because the curriculum that we have doesn't speak to them? Um, I ask the board for your consideration um, of bringing in ethnic studies, as we did in our Rancho Unified School District. Um, if not a graduation requirement, but at least make sure and ensure that it's offered at every high school. At my high school, currently Santee High School, we do not offer it. I've spoken to my principal various times about it. But with the implementation of Common Core, high stakes testing, it's pushing out cultural education. It's pushing out the very thing that can make our children succeed. You can look at the studies, I will be emailing you some studies as well, that show that multicultural, um, ethnic studies, um, curriculum that speaks to those who have been historically marginalized and oppressed, um, actually makes them go on to college, graduate, and become great citizens and critical thinkers. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much. All right, so that concludes our public speaking section. And